Smokeless Chimney presents Smoke Measurement, Opacity Light Theory, The Basics, Chapter 1. There are two essential methods for measuring smoke. One is optical. This is two examples where you pass a light beam through the chimney and measure the amount of light that goes through. On the right, the little box, is a scattered light method. It's still optical, but in this case it's used to come up with a number called PM 2.5. Here's an example of a air quality meter in a smoky atmosphere near wildfires where the PM 2.5 reaches 201. This is an uncomfortably high level. The other method is by pumping the smoke through filters and trying to gain the mass of the filters. It's a complex method. It can only be done in the lab and I have a few pictures here that describe the process and equipment used to do mass measurement of particles. This is not something that can be taken out of the lab and used in the field. To use in the field we suggest using the opacity method here is a rendering of an opacity device with the light source on one side, a light sensor on the other side passing through the smoke. This is looking down the chimney. Nice warm fire below. Another draw diagram is here and it's the same image with more descriptive points. On the right you have the light source, a lens, shining on a light port through the chimney which is smoke and hot gases through another port then to a light sensor this system will measure opacity of smoke and is relatively straightforward this diagram has most of the details here's the rendering again again you have a light on one side and sensor on the other side This can be put on a chimney for a period of time and then taken off the chimney. It doesn't need to be there all the time. Here's an example of an opacity meter on the exhaust of a diesel truck. You can see that these parts are available today. They are used today in diesels and other emission monitoring equipment. Here is a benchtop prototype the light source is on the left side of the frame with uh, voltage conditioners or power conditioners for the light source passing through the ports and you can see the port lit up on the other side if smoke was coming up through the center of that round hole you would be able to measure the opacity of that smoke using this method smokeless chimney warm homes and clean air for everyone www.smokelesschimney.com Thanks for watching.